Hi, I'm Ryan, coming to you with Peppa Sauce. Thanks for watching. Um, people who watch my channel know that I like spicy food. Um, I also love my kids, I love my family, and so I like to include them in my videos, and um, everyone else prefers that I keep them in the videos. And so um, what I wanna show you how to do is, so I like to grow peppers, and then I like to I like to do things with them, like make hot sauce, you know, things like that. Uh, pickle jalapenos and make um, cowboy candy, all that stuff. Um, so today, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you how you can grow your own peppers, dehydrate them, and then make a seasoning. Um, so you don't have to have spicy seasoning, but I love spicy seasoning. Um, you can uh, you can basically use your seasoning as like a rub for meats. Um, you can you can sprinkle it on your food like French fries and stuff like that. You can use it to season your chili. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I dehydrate, and then I'm gonna kind of give you like a recipe that I've come up with. Um, the recipes they're really not that hard. Um, you just kind of like you don't overdo it on some of like the uh, spices like cumin and cardamom and things like that um, you, you 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 just kind of practice this I, I kind of recommend you start with like one recipe like I started with a Bobby Flay recipe and then I just sort of like derived from that it kind of helped me build like my ratios you kind of like you really get good at just sort of mentally understanding all your ratios and proportions so I'll go ahead and I'll show you the dehydrating process and then I'll kind of go through my, uh, my recipe. I invested in a uh, Excalibur food dehydrator. Um, a butthole. A butthole. All right. It's gonna be after to tell people I make pepper Come sauce. Okay. Hello, we're gonna make some pepper sauce. Hello. So we invested in the Excalibur food dehydrator. This is very handy. Not even just for dehydrating peppers. You can make beef jerky with it. You can dehydrate like apple slices and things like that. Basically, meat is gonna be like at your highest temperature. And so at the lowest temperature is gonna be like herbs lowest. and things like that. Okay. For peppers, for peppers, I tend to go somewhere between the level of fruits and or fruit rolls to meat slash fish. I, I, I kind of go somewhere between there. So what that puts me at is somewhere between 135 and 145 degrees Fahrenheit. And so the question is, well, how long do I dehydrate for? It just kind of depends. You keep checking on your peppers. You have to kind of, you have to eyeball it. You have to be able to eyeball it and look at it and decide whether it is fully dehydrated. If you, you have to be careful. You have to be careful because if you don't fully dehydrate them, they can spoil. So some peppers will take eight hours. Some peppers will take days to weeks to get fully dehydrated, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of just show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and push all my shells in. When I dehydrate peppers, I tend to use the temperature setting somewhere between 135 to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. This is kind of somewhere between fruits and meats. So now the question is, how long do you dehydrate your pepper for? Or you, how long do you dehydrate your peppers for? It really depends. It can be as short as eight hours. It can be as long as days, even weeks. You kind of have to like eyeball it, look at the pepper and decide whether it looks like it's actually dehydrated. If you want it to dehydrate faster, it's better to use peppers with like thinner membranes, like cayenne peppers, arbol peppers, and things like that. Serrano peppers and jalapeno peppers tend to take longer because they have thicker membranes. It will dehydrate faster if the inside of the pepper is exposed or if like the pepper's opened up. If it's not opened up, it'll take much longer to dehydrate the peppers if the pepper, if the inside of the pepper is sealed off. So a lot of times it's good to cut the pepper in half 
or at least remove the tops of the pepper like the stem so that it can dehydrate inside and out. If you don't fully dehydrate the pepper, this can be a problem. If you don't fully dehydrate the pepper, you go store it inside of a container, it can spoil, it can turn moldy and things like that. So you want it fully dehydrated. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get these peppers, I'm gonna get the dehydration process going. I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer to 26 hours and I'll check on it as often as I want. If you're using very spicy peppers, I do not recommend you do this inside of the house with all the wives and the kids. I tend to take these things and put them in my garage and I'll dehydrate in my garage. All right, now you have dehydrated peppers. Now, um, I'm not gonna cover how to smoke peppers in this video, but I do, for just the sake of having a really good recipe, I am gonna use a smoked pepper called the ancho chili. This is the pepper that they use to make uh, that chili powder you buy from the store. All right, now your peppers are dehydrated. The peppers I have here are Thai chili peppers, Arbol peppers. These are really delicious. The Arbol peppers are the peppers that are in Cholula hot sauce and the Hot Ones classic hot sauce. These are Chiltepin peppers. This here is a smoked pepper. This is a smoke dried pepper. I'm not really gonna show you in this segment how to like smoke dried peppers, but this is called an ancho chili. And ancho chilies are smoked and dried poblano peppers. And so when you buy like just what's called chili powder from the grocery store, it's made from this. Thai chili peppers, Arbol chili peppers, Chiltepin peppers, ancho chili, cored and de-seeded. One teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of cumin, one tablespoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of fennel seed, one teaspoon of cloves, one tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of MSG, three tablespoons of paprika. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Three teaspoons of salt makes one tablespoon of salt black pepper. Okay, so now let's pulverize my peppers. I recommend using a high-speed blender. For example, I have a Vitamix. You can also use a coffee grinder. Nice container. Now look at that, we're, we're official, we're professionals. Here's your spice. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. Ta-ta.